Hi everyone, welcome back to This and That Cook Start. Here I am prepping some beef stew for cooking. And I have my seasonings ready to go. Here I have crushed garlic, crushed ginger, red, yellow, and green bell pepper. I have onions and I have thyme. So I'm going to pour all this over. And now I'm going to put in a teaspoon of my favorite Ocherius jerk seasoning. I'm going to put some onion powder. Garlic powder. Paprika. All spice. Cayenne pepper, just a little bit, because I already have the jerk seasoning in there, and that's hot. I'm going to put a little bit of cumin. Oh, this one has to be closed. And the last thing I'm putting in is some stone wall salt free seasoning. Not the last thing I'm putting in a little bit of salt. My sea salt as usual. Now I'm gonna rub everything into the meat. gonna cover this up so the seasoning can go through it and then I'm gonna be cooking my beef stew okay I'm putting in the beef and I'm taking off most of the seasoning what I can get off I'm going to add it later on. Hard to get off the seasoning because there's such small pieces of meat. I'm 
done cooking the meat. I am going to cover it. And I'm not going to put any water on it. I'm going to put in a little bit as needed. I'm not going to cover it all with water. Because I think it's going to turn its own liquid to cook it. But if water is needed, add a little bit at a time. I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to add the water as needed. So I'll show you what's happening as we go along. It's going and I have not put any water in. It's producing its own liquid so far. This is going nicely. I can tip a little bit of water in now and I'm tipping a little bit from my kettle and that's how I'm going to do it until it's cooked. Now it's time to add a little bit more water. I need a little bit more water and I'm going to cover it. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit more water in. And it's almost done, so I'm going to add some Irish potato and carrots. And I'm also going to add my seasoning that I had saved over here to put back in there. Okay, and then I'm going to cover it up so it can finish cooking. My stew beef is almost done and I'm going to turn it off in a few minutes, just a little bit longer. Everything looks so good. Now I'm stir frying some vegetables. I have carrots, which I'm going to stir fry for about two minutes. One teaspoon of olive oil in there, and I also have other vegetables that I'm going to put in there when this is done. Now I'm going to be adding my yellow squash and green squash to the carrots and I'm going to stir fry this for two minutes. Got this from my daughter-in-law in Florida. said two minutes so it won't be too soft. To this I'm going to add a little bit of 
my seasoning, my stone wall seasoning, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. And that's it, no salt. I can turn this off and now my attention goes to my TV. Okay, this is all done. So I'm going to be turning it off in a minute or so. Getting a little bit more gravy into it, and then I'm turning it off. See, beef looks good. Red peppers look good. Okay, I have the beef, the stew beef, and the vegetables in the plate. And I'm baking a Japanese sweet potato. So I'm gonna have a half of that. So dinner is ready. Everything is nice and hot. I can still see the steam coming out. Nice. 